Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another super fun and awesome Python tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, we're going to make a dice rolling simulator, and why would anyone actually roll dice with their real hands in real life, when you could just click buttons on your keyboard and then it does it for you? We're going to accomplish that today, so let's get right into it. We're going to create our project, go ahead and name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call mine Dice Rolling Simulator. Alright guys, we have our project open, and first, we need to go ahead and import our favorite class ever which is random, and that's going to allow us to generate random numbers, which we'll need later on. And then we're going to say, welcome to the world's greatest dice roller. And then, you know, right below that, let's just have a little line here. That way we can have some spacing in between that initial prompt and what we're going to prompt for next. Next, we're going to have to ask the user, how many dice would you like to roll? And I'd like to keep this number a little bit smaller. Let's keep it between one and 10. You can make it, you know, as big as you want, but I don't really think anyone would ever have to roll more than 10 dice at a time. We're just going to keep it like that for now. And we're going to say, how many dice would you like to roll? Also, one thing to note, if you ever hear me say die or dice, um, I'm not illiterate. I looked it up. Die is a singular form of dice. A couple of dies next to each other is dice. If I ever mix it up, I'm not illiterate. I swear, I'm just illiterate. Okay, after this, we're going to start to prompt the user for an integer. And like I said, we want to keep it between 1 and 10, and we should probably validate the input. That way we know that we get something accurate. We're going to just add a comment here and say validate input. First thing, we're going to say while true. So I have a while loop. And this is going to allow us to do some user validation. That way we get an integer and we get a number between 1 and 10. So first, we're going to have a try. A try and accept area here. So try is going to handle the cases if we're prompting for an integer and they enter a string or some other data type instead. That way we don't crash the program. We, we just handle it and we prompt again in this try loop we're going to say number pick is equal to input and then in input we're going to say type an integer between 1 and 10 and then go ahead and wrap your entire input thing here in int with parentheses and that way it's going to cast this um, input to an int when they enter stuff in oh, and by the way after this 10 make sure to add a colon and a space that way it just looks nicer so first let's handle the case assuming that they didn't crash the program and they did really enter an integer we're going to say if the number picked is greater than zero and the number picked is less than 10, then we know we have a valid number. So we have a valid number. So go ahead and inside this if statement, we're going to say break. So we just want to break out of the loop right away because we know we have an actual good number here. And if that is not the case, we need to say else. And in here, go ahead and print invalid. Oops can't spell invalid input try again that way that they know that they need to try again and enter integer between 1 and 10 otherwise we're just not going to accept it and then inside this accept loop let's just basically do this exact same thing change the statement a little bit that way they know they're not entering the right data type so instead of invalid input try again we're gonna say please provide an integer all right guys next thing that we need here is we're going to create a function that will roll the dice for us so outside of this while loop here we're gonna say def and then roll dice and then we're going to pass in the amount of dice that we'd like to roll and in here we're just going to have a for loop so for die in range of amount of dice so we're basically saying you know start at zero and go up to the amount of dice that they specified and before this loop i actually forgot one thing we're going to need to say possible faces is equal to and then a list here and we're just going to manually enter each number. That's way we have each dice face that's available. And inside this for loop, we're going to say the role is going to be equal to our random class dot choice. And then the list that we're going to say is possible faces. That way that this says, hey, we have this array here and we want to randomly choose a thing out of it and set that equal to role. Next thing we want to do is let the user know what we've just rolled and which die actually had that result. If they specify five dice, we want to, you know, say, hey, die one was was, you know, two, die two was four, and so on. The way we're gonna say that is print, and then go ahead and open this up, quotes. We're gonna say die space, comma, and then the number of the die that we're currently on, which is handily stored in our uh, for loop here. Die is the number. And then we're gonna do comma, space again, more quotes, colon, and space. So we're saying, hey, die number one, colon, space, and then we're gonna say the result of it. After this, comma, space, and then the roll. And one thing I just realized, guys, is die actually starts at zero and it goes up from there. And if they specified a number like four, it would say zero, one, two, three, instead of one, two, three, four. So to fix that, only on the printout statement, just add one to it. That way it looks more human readable and not so machine 
oriented. That is literally all we need for our function. And right under here, we're just going to call it. So we're going to say roll dice and then pass in our number picked from earlier. How this runs is we prompt a user and we make sure that it's valid. And then we we've made our function and we're just going to call our number picked from up here, pass it in here and it should, you know, run the game properly. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. So here we are. It's like, hello, how many dice would you like to roll? I'm going to go ahead and say six. So we click enter and you'll notice right away. It's like, OK, die one was uh, five, die two was six and so on. <laughs> we're actually rolling pretty good numbers here. So that's that's fun to see. So we know that that works properly and that's sick. However, there are some more things we could actually add to make it a little bit more cool. So what if you want to add the sum of all of our uh, dice rolls? Because maybe it's important for the game. So maybe we need to roll like, you know, four dice and add them all together. And that's our roll. To calculate the sum, it's actually pretty simple. In the top of this roll dice method, we're going to say total sum is equal to zero. And it's it's stupid easy. Right underneath this print statement, we're going to literally say total sum is plus equal to roll. So every time that this loop runs, whatever they rolled, so, you know, two or four or five, it's going to just add it to this. And then at the end of this, we'll actually have our sum. And let's go ahead and print that out outside of the for loop, but still in that function. We're going to say print total sum colon space and then comma and then total sum. So now if we run it and we go ahead and you know type in, I don't know, eight dice. It adds it all together and it actually sums it up for us really nicely. So one other fun thing we could do is now that we have the sum, what if we want to compute something like our average roll? You know, how, how good are we with all these dice? So the way we can do that is we have our sum and the average is calculated by taking the sum divided by how many dice there were. And that's super easy to do. So right above this print statement here, we're going to say the average is equal to the total sum divided by the amount of dice. So if you roll 30 is our sum and the amount of dice we rolled was five, you know, we're going to take 30 divided by five it's going to give us six because six is our average roll and then a nice thing to do is right underneath here just let the user know what our average is so say average roll colon space comma and then just print out average so now let's run it again and see how that works so let's say four dice and you'll notice you know we rolled a few things our sum is 13 and our average roll is 3.25 that's all i have for today um hopefully you guys have some fun practice and learned a couple of things this is a really nice easy starter project for people learning the code and it, it's really fun to see it work hopefully you guys learned something if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down below any thoughts or suggestions for next video subscribe to my channel for more content like this and with that being said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one